Hi Aquarius, welcome to your reading. I'm going to be taking a look how the person on your mind and what they're hiding from you. I'm going to pull three cards to start. Clarify each card to give us some more insight. At the end of your reading, I'm going to pull three messages plus one bonus message from this person. And these are going to be things you might want to hear, things you might not want to hear, and answers to questions you possibly have. And we will get that at the end. So this is general. It may not resonate for everyone. If it does, go ahead and hit that like button if you haven't already. Subscribe to my channel. It helps me to pick up on your energy for all future reads. And please remember that time is fluid. So this could be something that happened in your past, currently in your present, or coming up in your future. However, the focus is for the person currently on your mind and what they're hiding from you. Now, most of you that know, I was sick last week and I'm getting my voice back, but um, every day is progress. So I just, I wanted to finish all readings today for, you know, this series. So please bear with me because my voice keeps cutting in and out, but I do have water just in case I need it. So that way I can talk. All right, so let's get started. The person on Aquarius's mind, show me what they're hiding from Aquarius. Okay, um, it's really interesting the way it comes out. We have the Three of Wands, we have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, and then we have the Knight of Pentacles. They are waiting for things to come to them, either in the form of a breakup or losing some kind of inheritance. I feel like it's like a payout the way it happens, but it's not working in their favor. The Ten of Swords is at the bottom of the deck, so this is what they're hiding from you. And it feels like more of um, like a breakup than anything. Like this is over, and them hitting rock bottom, bottom, or they've been waiting for to be let go at their job, even though they're trying to work really hard. It just falls towards money. Um but something is not working out. And that Ten of Pentacles, it's like they're waiting to grow bro broke or something of that nature, but they're procrastinating. Like they're in a, it just feels like this person is really in a, a situation of hitting rock bottom. Either they lost their job or they feel like they're going to lose their job um, and waiting for it to happen and procrastinating on doing something to change it. Three of Wands, Ten of Pentacles in reverse, Knight of Pentacles, okay. So I do have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I also have Aries and um, Gemini energy that comes out. Let's clarify that Three of Wands. The King of Wands. So they're waiting like for things to get better, but not doing anything to make that change because they're procrastinating. Even though right now Aquarius like is the time for them to make that move, to do something because all the seeds they've planted are ready for like, you know, are fruitful and ready to be picked. It's like the right time, but they're just going really slow. It's like they're waiting to find that motivation. They're waiting for something to kickstart things and see that four of swords is at the bottom of the deck. And that's telling me that this person is like being lazy about being motivated or going after success. They're like, I'm just going to wait. Like, I'm going to wait for things to get better or for me to find the motivation. Okay, I don't have it. You know, because that break that they're taking, they're just laying there like it's being lazy. All right, so we do have Sagittarius, Leo, Aries energy as well as Libra. Let's clarify that Ten of Pentacles in reverse. They lost their job and they're lying to you, so you're having to help them out or you've been helping them out because they've been making careless decisions. That Knight of Wands is at the bottom of the deck. We have that Seven of Swords and a 50-50 energy. They're like, can you help me out? I'll pay you back. 
but you may never get that payment back. But they're going to keep asking for help and they're not being completely honest and truthful with you because they're not telling you that they lost their job or that things aren't working out here. That's crazy. But it's all because of, you know, these spontaneous decisions like acting upon impulse. I'm going to do it. I'm just going to do it. I'm going to do this right now. That feels like such a get rich quick kind of situation where they lost their job. They're lying to themselves that things are going to change with a get rich quick situation and that if you keep helping them, they're going to eventually pay you back. In their mind, they might think so, but it's not the case of things. I have your energy that comes out, Aquarius. I also have Aries and Sagittarius. Let's go ahead and clarify that Knight of Pentacles. The world card. See, they're procrastinating on moving to the next chapter here. See, there's that four of swords again. It's like they take the, like, I need time to heal. I need time to rest. I need time to this. I need time to that. But right now is the time for them to make that move. And you can't get them to budge and they won't budge. They are moving so slow towards getting to this next chapter or closing out an old chapter and embracing the new like that's supposed to happen for them. They're just putting it off like, I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it the next day. I'll do it the next day. I don't know if this person's actually talking to you or this is just what's going on in their life, you know, because this is what they're hiding from you. And they might be showing like that everything's fine, but that is an altered reality. That is not what's happening here. So I do, again, have Libra energy. I also have Capricorn. So let's go ahead and... Let's go ahead and get some messages. What is this person holding back from telling Aquarius? Let me take a drink of water. One moment, y'all. I'm sorry. I like cover up the microphone like that's going to help. But I have one of those really like, what is it? A condensing microphone like for, that you could use for ASMR. I guess it's good when I lose my voice. But yeah, I just don't like to hear all the sounds. I know y'all don't right there. Maybe some people do. They're like, it's satisfying. Let's go ahead and get those messages. What is this person holding back from telling Aquarius? Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, see, some of you are not talking to one another, not like, it's like you might check in on them, see how things are going, oh, everything's fine, or they check on you, or like it's it's few and far in between, because there's a break in that communication between the two of you, but they're telling you everything's fine, but they're just waiting for things to get better, so I hope you're happy. You know, this is something they think about, but at the same time, they're going through a rough situation and hitting rock bottom here. And it feels like without you, you know, like you might be thriving and doing okay. And they're like, I really hope you're happy, Aquarius. But they're just, and they're like, I'm fine, I'm fine. But they're not fine. Like they lost their job or they're losing their job. You know, there was lying, there was stealing, there was cheating there. There's also telling you that everything's fine, but also asking you for help every now and then. So you're too good for me. You know, they feel that this, this is what they hold back from telling you. So this is something they would never tell you because it feels like their pride and ego gets in the way because they're already in denial of the fact that things are not going well. I want a family with you. But well, that is something that like, it's so slow. So if this, you know, and remember this is general. So not every message is going to apply for everybody. Only take what applies to your situation and leave the rest. Um, but this person, for those of you like that wanted a family, they want a family with you, but they're not ready. They don't even have a job or they can't stay in a job. They have brilliant ideas, but they are lazy in their motivation because they wait for things to happen 
instead of putting one foot in front of the other here, which is definitely in that altered reality. And right now is the time for them to really put one foot in front of the other and they would see so much progress, but they just are like, I'll do it tomorrow. I'm going to put it off. You know, like I want to do it, but I'll do it another day. So can we fix what's broken between us? You know, them wanting to come back to you or fix things with you, Aquarius. Um, I don't deny that they don't care for you. I know that they do. You know that they do. But they're not changing things within their life when they hit rock bottom. They've got to learn how to pick themselves back up. They need to know how to stabilize their life. And they need to know how to put one foot in front of the other and make that huge change and prepare for the next chapter you know that world card is all about the seasons changing from one season to the next and also experiencing more in life and when they hold themselves back they're only hindering their experiences their growth in life and so they've got to do this on their own um as far as getting themselves up off the ground and get going and it's just you know they might want these things with you and want to fix what, you know, is broken between the two of you. And this is what they're holding back from telling you. And they realize like you're, they feel like you're too good for them because you work hard or you're trying to at least push yourself forward to do the right thing. And yeah, they want you to be happy, but they're not there yet. And you can't always be their crutch. They have to learn to stand on their own. Um, that's what's going to really make them start to change. They got to see that enough is enough and they want to do it for themselves. So Aquarius, this is what I have for you. If it resonates, go ahead and hit that like button. I will see you in your next reading coming up. Have a good rest of your day. Bye.